Hi and welcome to this introduction to GLSL in Touch Designer. So we're going to create a very simple GLSL top. So as you can see by default there is uh, nothing linked to uh, the pixel shader. So we're going to create a text that and point it. So here the blue checkerboard indicates uh, a compile error. And if you put down an info that, you can get the full text of the error. So right now it's saying it's uh, empty. So to get started, we can grab some code from the wiki. If you go to the write a GLSL top page and just grab the first one and this gives us pure red so <clears throat> this first line you first have this layout location equal zero so this defines um, which output buffer we are writing to. Actually, you can remove this because um, zero is like the default and this is still going to work. Um, let's put it back. Else, the out keyword, uh, we define that we're writing to an uh, output. Later, we'll see the in keyword which is when we're grabbing some uh, values from an input shader. Vec4 stands for vector4, which is an array of four values. And frac color is our variable name. Then the main loop of the shader is, uh, the main part of the shader is the main function. And so the frac color is defined by 1001. So VEC4 for, for color, it's going to be RGB and alpha. So now, um, let's see how we can link one of the parameters from the touch interface. So let's give this uh, a name called my color, And then inside the code, if you write uniform we want a color so vec4 and my color and then you replace this by my color then touch is going to use this value so if i put back 1001 we get full red again we can do green for example so the uniform keyword means that the value is unchanging on the whole, um, for the whole shader. Um, one, one little tip, I find it uh, very convenient in touch to use the top to chop, which can sample values from top. And this way, if we just select a pixel, we can see we get back exactly uh, 1001, so it makes sense. So that's it for this first introduction.